Hi there, thank you so much for clicking the thumbnail and being interested in my work. In this video, I share with you my techniques and tips on how I achieved this drawing of a iris. This is part two, where I continue with the petals and then concentrate then on showing you how I do the buds and the stalk. So be sure to watch it right through to the end because here and there I'll be slowing things down in real time so you can take a closer look. So let's dive in and take a look. Here's a selection of pencils I'll be using to start with. To help get the rich colour I'll be using these Rembrandt sticks. What I wanted to do is try and get that richness of colour, so I experimented putting these in first, just to see what happened. Then tried a Caran d'Ache colour, which is very rich in pigment as well, just trying to glaze with that to see what happens there. It's a case of experimenting when you first try and achieve this glow, um, what you're finding on the computer screen. It's not always possible to get that richness because obviously this is, you know, on a board and then you've got light shining through on the computer screen. So you have to go as close as you can to it. So it, I didn't find it very successful to be fair. So what I decided to do is result back into what I normally do, which is putting the white in first, then just keep glazing with the red and the blue to try and get that vividness so the white will shine through then. So just to recap on part one is the case of putting the white in first, pressing on more where it's more brighter and less where it's more mid-tone and then glaze them over the top. There's almost like veins in the actual petals, so what I've done is use a ultramarine blue light just to map out where these lines are and then go over that with red then. What I'm doing really is getting everything in position by using the rich colours, getting the values into some sort of order before I start going in there finalising the details which is the latter part of the stage. Uh, so it's just a case of just building it up and just be aware that each stage and then you don't have to worry about it not being detailed as you go through it. Uh, you know it will change later on. My approach is to let go of the mind, open the heart and just allow the movements just to happen. Just focus really sensing on nature, sensing the connection to nature. Even though it's a reference image, there still be a feeling of reality in there and just try and open your heart to that and you'll be surprised what energy even from a flower that will come back at you and then just allow that to flow through you and just let it happen let the marks happen don't try and force the marks by overthinking just relax and let the flow take you over now with this part of the drawing this is shadow cast so what I've done is used a grey first to map it out and then I've gone over then with blue and orange to create greys. Because blue and orange is complementary so when they put them together it creates really nice subtle greys so that's why I've used it here. It makes it really more realistic as well because you're not just using a grey, there's all sorts of different subtleties. There's a the grey is going towards the blue, some's going towards the orange, some's... so it creates quite much, much of an interest there. The beard of the anther, I've used lemon yellow and burnt sienna, which creates nice gold. So if you ever need a golden colour, 
great combination to use. If you're getting value from this video, why not subscribe? It's absolutely free and then you're sure not to miss any more future videos. So on this petal I just repeated the same procedure I did on the other one. So I'm just speeding through now on this so I can get onto the stem. If you would like to support my art by becoming a Patreon and you would like to see more longer, slower and more in-depth videos, please join me on Patreon. Link is in the description below. Now with the bud, buds and the stem I decided to actually just use one green which would be the olive green, but then use the lemon yellow and burnt sienna combination, similar to what I do with my landscape with trees, and that will actually create subtle greens because green and red are complementary colour because the burnt sienna is like a red colour. So that's what I'm mixing together to get the subtle shadows and shades of the green. What I'm doing as well is creating fresher greens by using a blue and lemon yellow with it as well. So I'm using a combination of different blues with lemon yellow, with the olive green and also brown. So brown and blue making for the shadows as well. So just combination and playing about with different things till you get the right shade. If you're enjoying this video why not give it a like and share it with your friends it would mean so much to me because this would help the channel to grow real-time footage now so you can see how I'm glazing over the white and try and get that sort of vividness because you'll find especially when you're using reference from a computer screen that's really bright and intense the only way I've found to try and create that is to put the white underneath and then just glaze over the top and just keep doing that same process and then eventually it'll start to sort of glow. I've decided not to put a background on this pastel drawing. Now it becomes a pastel drawing because there's no background in it. So if you leave the board plain without pastel on it how I understand it is it actually the correct term is a pastel drawing but if the whole image is full of pastel with the background it's called a pastel painting so let me know in the comments below if you know any different to that but that's what I've researched anyway I hope you've enjoyed this series of the iris drawing um, it's actually been quite refreshing to do something rather than portraits Hope you've enjoyed the change. Here's the drawing at the correct angle rather than being in perspective on the easel. Thank you for watching the video right through to the end. If you found value in it and you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Appreciate it, it would help the channel. Leave a comment and a message in the comments below. Uh, let me know what sort of videos you want me to produce. I've actually left a couple of links here for you to uh, click on and to subscribe click on the circle here. It's absolutely free and then you're sure not to miss any of my future videos. Thank you so much, take care and be well.